Hello, this is Jamie Magritch. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I want to show you how I made this card. It's really a simple stamping, but let's get started. <clears throat> I used the painted poppies. I used these stamps here. And then this doesn't have a sentiment, so I used this sentiment from Timeless Tropical. Our friendship is timeless. For cardstock, <clears throat> I have the um, painted poppy designer series paper, which is two and a quarter by five and a quarter. I have card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. I have a piece of white, which is four by five and a quarter piece of poppy parade which is four and an eighth by five and three eighths another piece of poppy parade which is three and five eighths by four and one eighth a piece of crumb cake which is three and a half by four a strip of white which is four by one inch um, we'll also be using the um, red rhinestone basic jewels and just to flag that to make it easier, I'm using the tailored tag punch. You can do it with your scissors, but the tag punch makes it easier. And on this one, I embossed this back piece with the subtle embossing folder. Uh, so we'll need that as well. And let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and stamp this sentiment. And the only ink we're using today is the Memento. Bring in that sentiment. Get up well. Stamp it right in the center. Perfect. Okay, so we're done with that stamp. Set this aside so that ink can dry a little bit before I flag the corners. Okay, then we're going to bring in this piece. We're going to bring in the large poppy. We're going to ink that up. Stamp it pretty much right in the center here. Okay, now we're going to bring in this smaller of the poppies. Ink that up. We're going to stamp one up above this and one below it. as close as you can but don't overlap if you can help it. One up here. Perfect. Okay then we're gonna bring in that leaf. I'm gonna add like five leaves. Want a couple down here. And if that stem is going to extend in, I can bring in a piece of post it just to, so that it doesn't get the over stamping. Although it wouldn't matter because the banner is going to go across there, but this makes it easier. One there. One right next to it. Actually, mask this leaf a little bit. Okay, that's all the stamping, so we can put this away. 
I'm not going to do any coloring or anything. We'll bring in the, and we're going to put that in until you see the sentiment. And you're going to pull it back out. Make sure this is centered here. is going to get some dimensionals on the back of it. All right, this piece is going to get glued directly to the um, three and five eighths by four and an eighth poppy parade layer. I'm just going to use my Tombow Mono Multi Glue. It's just going to be a tiny little eighth inch border. Okay, I'm going to bring this in. This one I'm going to do without embossing it so you can see the difference. I'm going to mount this. Um, Four by five and a quarter piece of white to the four and an eighth by five and three eighths poppy parade. Again, there's going to be that eighth of an inch border. Okay, bring in that piece of designer series paper. One side, this is the other. Use the tombow glue. And I want that to be about a quarter of an inch from this side of the card. Oh, I apologize for that. I forgot to turn my phone off. Okay, and this piece will get glued on top of there centered in the center of the card, again with a Tombow. Okay, we're going to bring in our banner, take those backings off. If you have trouble getting them off, just push into them with your nail or your bone folder and then it, pop it up. Okay, then this is going to get centered across the right boot there. Make sure it's straight. Okay, we'll glue this to the front of our card base. here. One down here. Whoops, stick. Okay. And there's a card we just made together. It's a simple stamping card. There's one we, I did previous where I just added the embossing folder. I don't know if you can even tell the difference. Well, thank you for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table today. I hope you have a little bit of time to play with some stamp sinks and paper. And thank you for, again.